Welcome back. Depth first traversal, DFS, in graphs. I'll explain it in a way a 10-year-old can understand. What is depth first traversal, DFS? Imagine you're on an adventure in a maze. And you want to find the exit as quickly as possible. Depth first traversal, DFS, is like a strategy to explore the maze efficiently. How does DFS work? Here's how DFS works step by step. 1. Asterisk start at the entrance. You start at the entrance of the maze, a starting node on your map. 2. Asterisk go as deep as possible. Instead of checking all the paths around you, you pick one and go as deep as you can. It's like choosing a tunnel and exploring it fully before coming back. 3. Asterisk mark your path. As you go deeper into the maze, you mark the path you're taking, so you remember how to get back. 4. Asterisk if you hit a dead end. If you hit a dead end, a place with no more paths, you go back to the last spot where there were more paths to explore. 5. Asterisk keep going until you find the exit. You keep doing this, going as deep as possible. And backtracking when needed, until you find the exit or explore the entire maze. Real World Use of DFS Depth first traversal is used in various real world scenarios. 1. Asterisk maze solving. When robots or computers need to find the way out of a maze, they often use DFS. They explore one path at a time, marking their way until they find the exit. 2. Asterisk game strategies. In games like chess, DFS can be used to explore possible moves and find the best one. It's like looking ahead to see what might happen next. 3. Asterisk file systems. When you search for a file on your computer, DFS can be used to explore the folder structure. It looks deep into one folder before moving to the next. 4. Asterisk puzzle solving. If you're trying to solve a puzzle, like a crossword, DFS can be used to try different answers step by step, going as deep as needed. So, think of DFS as a way to explore and find things by going deep into one path at a time, like exploring a maze or planning the next move in a game. It's a bit like an explorer diving deep into a jungle and backtracking when they reach a dead end. Mystery Master I, 